Hello and welcome to the WIHS Journal Public Affairs from 104.9 FM. I'm Paul Kretschmer. In the second of two days of broadcast with Christy McLaughlin, the director of the child care or nanny program at Home Rule. There are a lot of families that wouldn't have said, oh, I'm going to go hire a nanny. That's just not in their scope. But we're a lot more, I don't want to say normal than that, but we try to make it a really practical and helpful and affordable experience for them. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the affordability because I think for some people who may have heard some of those terms, the next thought they have is, oh gosh, that sounds wonderful, but I can't afford something like that. You know, what, what, what do you think I'm made out of, money or something? <laughs> I would have said the same thing. I mean, I took a long time before I decided to hire a nanny for my family. It got to where my kids were with me, I was working, taking care of other children. I was not able to to take care of my kids like they needed to be taken care of. And, and so it was really out of necessity that we bit the bullet. But the multiple, there's multiple comments to that. One is a lot of times you're far more productive in less time than when you're toting your kids with you. Yeah. And a lot of people are trying to work from home and they're getting interrupted. And I actually had one mom call me today and she said, I can get done and five hours uninterrupted what what it takes me 12 to do with all the interruptions. And then I feel guilty because I'm never really giving them the full-on attention that they need. And so that's why she chose to just do a part-time babysitter. And that way she can still get her work done, and that makes it more affordable for her. So obviously there is a cost, but it's really... The way that we rate our services is we check the going rate in every area that we service, and we go with the going rate, and that's it. We we don't charge more. We just we hire at the going rate. As so you pay us is pretty much what you're going to be paying a babysitter that you hire from Care.com. Yeah, yeah. As, as far as the qualifications for people then and, and being – the United States is made up of a wide jurisdic- uh, variety of jurisdictions. Is mm-hmm. it too early to de- for you to determine at the moment what it takes for, s- for you to function on that basis in more than maybe your home territory? Um, well, most of what we do is virtual, which started with COVID, uh, Zoom meetings, Zoom hiring, mm-hmm. Zoom training you know, doing everything through videos. Mm -hmm. All of our documentation, uh, all of our forms now are, like, for example, through DocuSign, so they come straight to our clients' emails. Um, And so, no, actually, we don't have trouble with that. Um, We are going to be franchising in three months, and we really are hoping to have people set in specific areas that really give that one-on-one. But... We have a pretty large staff right now, and we give a significant amount of one-on-one attention. In fact, due to the nursing division, we have to have someone on call um, 24-7. And so we're always, literally, always available 24-7. And because we care about the children, we take those calls. Day or night, we take the calls because it's important. To recap for listeners at this point in our conversation, Christy, could you outline briefly once again what sorts of criteria you are following when it comes to hiring the people that you're going to be, that that are going to be working with your clients and and stress the point, for instance, that since it's, since they are employees and not 1099 contractors or people like that, what what the difference is that gives a, a, a potential client a exalted sense of confidence and and peace of mind that that they're doing the right thing when they work with you? Right. Thanks for that question. Um, So as an employee, they work for us and they have to follow our guidelines. So if a client likes our guidelines, which is we hire um, people who have no criminal record, Um, they have to have a clean driving record even, Um, We do a sex offender check, we do interviews, we do their references, we do their background check, um, and then they go through a thorough training 
and then we oversee them because they actually follow a service plan that we create with the family, and then they document. So one of the challenges with hiring a 1099 is, number one, it's illegal unless you become um, a business and you hire that person as a household employee. Um, if you look it up on the Internet, a lot of people haven't, but you, you can find lots of articles about household employees. Um, so we save you all of that. You don't have to have a household employee because they're a home rule employee. And then we support our caregivers, and we continue to train them, and we continue to go you know, back and forth between the caregiver and the client to make sure that that relationship is still working. And I'll just say, after having a daughter for almost 12 years who has a nurse in the home and then having a nursing agency myself, um, one of the biggest issues with having a person working in your home with your children is that you can start out great, but then the boundaries start slipping. Mm-hmm. And they might come in and kind of dump their problems on you, and they might start coming 10 minutes late and 15 minutes late, and they might start not doing the dishes when they were contracted to do them. Or, you know, the, the, the care starts slipping, but because they're working in your home with your children, it's really hard to maintain that boundary and to maintain the standard with them. So as an agency, it's a lot easier for us. Those issues typically don't get to a point that, that are destructive because if they're late, for example, three days in a row <clears throat> or even two, we have their clock in because we do a GPS clock in. And we can look and say, why are you clocking in at 810? You're supposed to clock in before 8 o'clock. And so we keep a really tight rein on that, and the families feel more secure, and the caregivers feel more secure and more supported. So the, the whole boundary issue, I think, is, is really one of the big issues because a really amazing relationship can end up not so amazing. But it doesn't need to be that way. Right, right. Uh, 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 you've, you've launched this at a time when the pandemic has been all over the place, news and TV and everywhere else you can think of. Do you anticipate that you can, in fact, anticipate a growth curve or re- uh, business-like reasonable expectations on your part as to how this is going to go as, quote, things get back to normal? The thing, the thing I've heard lately from a lot of people is, I'm not sure that what we thought of as normal is going to be normal in the future. So how do I describe for myself, for my own comfort level, or how do I engage other people at their comfort level as to what's normal and what's a reasonable expectation within what we would otherwise consider normal as you look forward to building your business? That's a challenging question because I don't think that anyone knows what our country is going to look like when everything levels out and people aren't afraid to go out. Um, I, you know, I have a medically fragile child, so we're extra protective. And the parents that I've talked to so far who we're in discussions with who have responded, um, they are all calling on us because they would have otherwise put their child in child care and they're now wanting to bring them home. So when everything opens up and people feel safe, um, I would say that there, there are quite a few families who really want their kids in a, in a program, in a camp, or, you know, where they're socializing with other children. Um, it doesn't concern me business-wise because there are always families looking for excellent child care in the home, and we're not out to be the biggest. We are out to provide the best service to each client. Thank you very much, Krista McLaughlin, for speaking with me on this occasion uh, at this time of the day for our broadcast. Well, thank you, Paul. I really appreciate it. My thanks once again to Krista McLaughlin, the head of the child care program at Home Rule. For further information, call us at 860-346-1049. That's 860-346-1049. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of the staff or management of this station. I'm Paul Kretschmer on the WIHS Journal, Public Affairs from WIHS Middletown.